In this video, let's spend a few minutes answering this question. What sequence of readings is appropriate for FRM Part 1 preparations? If you are a FRM Part 1 candidate, then the total number of readings that you have to cover as part of your curriculum is actually 60 readings. These 60 readings are provided to you in the form of four books. These are respectively book one, which is the FRM book, Foundations of Risk Management, book two, which is the QA book, Quantitative Analysis, book three, the FMP book, Financial Markets and Products, and book four, the VRM book, Valuation and Risk Models. Okay, so 60 chapters, on average, candidates spend roughly 17 to 18 weeks covering the FRM Part 1 curriculum. That's a very comfortable time period to do justice to your preparation efforts. If I were to take out two weeks for revision, it leaves me with 16 weeks to cover these 60 chapters. That means a comfortable pace is to actually cover approximately four chapters every week okay so what is done here is that the 60 chapters that you have to cover they have been categorized into 16 lessons and this categorization has been done in such a way so that the topics that enter into any given lesson as far as possible share the same focus okay the actual sequence of these 60 chapters it has been given to you in a link beneath this video the aim of this video is to very quickly take you through the descriptions of each of these 16 lessons okay in lesson one we begin with actually book three okay from book three we pick four chapters which are rather simple these four chapters they focus on derivatives they teach us let's say payoff diagrams of derivatives their profit diagrams classification of derivatives on the basis of the markets in which they trade OTC versus exchange traded and also these readings take a look at central counterparties CCPs okay conventional wisdom actually tells us that preparation with regards to FRM part 1 should actually begin with book 2 the quants book okay but most candidates they do find the quants book a little tricky to actually cover okay so instead of starting with a tricky kind of book and a tricky kind of content we have started with a rather simple set of four readings okay now in lesson 2 we do move on to the quants book Okay. In total, the Quants book, which is book 2, it contains 13 chapters and in this first go at this particular book, we will be covering 12 out of the 13 chapters. Okay. Also, since a lot of candidates find the Quants book a little difficult to tackle, therefore, we have spread out our effort which we are going to spend on this book over four weeks and not over three weeks that means over four lessons okay that means as far as the quants book is concerned we'll be doing three chapters three topics in each lesson in lesson two we talk about probabilities we talk about random variables and we talk about common distributions okay then in lesson 3, we move on to multivariate random variables, sample moments and hypothesis testing. Okay. Then in lesson 4, again, three topics with the common focus that all these three topics are on linear regression. Single variable regression, multivariable regression and regression diagnostics. Okay. Let's move on to lesson 5 now. So lesson 5 again has 3 chapters. Two of them are actually quite heavy. Stationary time series and non-stationary time series. Then there is a third chapter also which is important as far as the concepts that it covers. 
This chapter is on returns, volatility and correlation. Okay. Then there is one chapter which I have intentionally left out at this stage because that chapter which is on simulation methods is best covered when we have done option pricing to some extent. Okay. Let's move on to lesson 6 now. Lesson 6 comes from book 4 and one chapter of lesson 6 comes from FMP. Okay. The focus of lesson 6 is on fixed income. In this lesson, we talk about time value of money. It's our first exposure to time value of money. We talk about pricing of very simple claims. We talk about no arbitrage, law of one price, replicating portfolios, spot, par and forward rates and their respective properties. We talk about yield to maturity, holding period returns, PNL attribution and we talk about different types of interest rates. LIBOR, OIS, SOFR, repo rates, etc. Okay, so fixed income related topics, they come in lesson 6. Then in lesson 7, we move to book 1. Okay, we deal with the standard as capital asset pricing model, CAPM. We deal with performance metrics for evaluating performance of portfolios and portfolio managers. We move on to multi-factor extensions of the single factor CAPM and these are dealt with in APT chapter, arbitrage pricing theory. Then to balance out the valuation related aspects that we have been discussing all through till this point in our course, we introduce in lesson 7 a very introductory chapter on risk management. Okay, This chapter is on building blocks of risk management in which we talk about various risk measures, we talk about various types of risk, risk typology etc. To make sure we are covering four readings in every lesson, in lesson 7 we also throw in this reading on GARP code of conduct. Okay, In lesson 8 we have again four readings which are focused on investing in bonds. We have readings on corporate bonds, mortgages and mortgage backed securities, external and internal ratings and country risk. Okay. Then let's move on to lesson 9. In lesson 9 we have four chapters which come from the FMP book and these chapters are all focused on futures and forwards. We begin with pricing of forwards and futures. We take a look at hedging strategies using futures and we take a look at commodity forwards and futures and then in the end foreign exchange risk. Okay, four chapters. Then moving on to lesson 10, our focus is now interest rate risk. Two chapters come from VRM book, two chapters they come from the FMP book. Okay, we have a chapter on one factor interest rate risk, a chapter on multi factor interest rate risk, then we have a chapter on managing interest rate risk using interest rate futures, and we have a chapter on swaps in which we take a look at interest rate swaps and cross currency swaps. Okay, moving on to lesson 11, our focus is now options four chapters from the FMP book. Okay, We go through the mechanics of options markets, we take a look at properties of stock options, I mean their lower and upper bounds, the early exercise of American options, most importantly put call parity. Okay, Then we take a look at trading strategies involving options in which we discuss bull spread, bear spread, butterfly spread, straddle, strangle, etc. And then we have a dedicated chapter on exotic options. Okay, Moving on to lesson 12, our focus is still options but in lesson 12 we talk about the valuation and the risk side of options. Okay, Three chapters in this lesson, they individually focus on three different methods for valuing options 
and these are binomial trees, the celebrated Black-Scholes model and the Monte Carlo simulation method, the chapter which we had left out when we were doing the Quants book. Okay, so we finally deal with that chapter after we know how to price options using other methods okay and the properties of options the fourth chapter in this lesson is about the greek measures it's about risk management when it comes to option portfolios okay now lesson one to lesson 12 okay these lessons they make you cover a lot of ground okay you go through various instruments their respective mechanics how these instruments are priced and how these instruments are themselves risk managed or for, for example how these instruments help you practically speaking in risk managing your existing exposures okay now in lesson 13 we actually switch to a rather practical side of the frm part 1 curriculum in lesson 13 we have three chapters which focus on financial institutions their respective risk exposures and how these risk exposures are managed in practice we have dedicated chapters on banks number one on funds mutual funds and hedge funds and on insurance companies okay three chapters on financial institutions then we have another chapter thrown in and that is on how firms in general manage their respective financial risk exposures okay moving on to lesson 14 this lesson is about four chapters picked from book one okay in this lesson we have a chapter on enterprise risk management a chapter on risk governance and a couple of chapters on risk management failures there's one chapter on the great financial crisis and there's one chapter on popular case studies when it comes to financial disasters okay then we are left with lessons 15 and 16 the topics which go into these two lessons those topics you can think of them to be kind of you know some kind of bridge topics between frm part 1 and frm part 2 lesson 15 has four chapters all four of which come from the vrm book chapters which are focused in some sense on financial risk measures market risk and stress testing okay finally in lesson 16 we deal with credit risk there are two chapters on credit risk operational risk and there's one topic which comes from book one and that is principles for effective risk data aggregation and risk reporting okay so this is actually one way of categorizing and sequencing the 60 chapters that you have to cover okay make sure that your sequence of you know approaching the frm part one curriculum is such that your first go at the curriculum is as seamless and as painless as possible okay and this particular sequencing which we have done i have seen that it has worked and it is one of the possible ways in which you can achieve this particular goal which i have just now described to you okay